Once you guys got another video on how to migrate Windows to another SSD drive for free. So if you have a NVMe SSD like this, doesn't matter what brand it is, and you want to upgrade it, or you want to uh, transfer the operating system from your old drive to one of those, then you can do. If you have a standard SSD like this, you can also use this method as well to upgrade or migrate to a new drive. You can either use this method as well, or you can either use an adapter for the SSD like this one, which is basically a SATA connection with a USB connection on the end of it, so you can do it outside of the computer, or you can use an enclosure like this one as well, which is an NVMe enclosure, or you can use an SSD enclosure as well. Also, some motherboards do have two M.2 slots on them, which means you can uh, basically clone from one to the other if you want to do it that way while it's in situ inside the motherboard. So let's show you how you can do this on your system. So basically what we've got here is a computer and what we're going to do is we're going to be cloning from one drive to another. So assume that you've got all of your programs and all of your data on this computer and you want to clone this over to a new drive, maybe a bigger drive, then this video is for you. So you can see here we do have a disk zero here, which is only 63 gigabytes. And if we wanted to upgrade that to, say, for instance, this one here, 220 gigabytes. Now, it doesn't matter what size it is, if it's a 120 gigabyte drive to a 500 gigabyte drive or 120 gigabyte drive to a one terabyte or one terabyte to two terabyte, as long as you're going to a larger drive that has the space and capacity to accept the drive that you're trying to clone. So let's go ahead and I'll show you here. So you can use this method for any size of drive. It doesn't matter what you've got. As long as you're upgrading to a larger drive or swapping out your drive, you can use this method. It's very simple and easy to do, and you can do it for free. So you're going to need to download a Disk Genius. It's a free piece of software that you can download and use for free. And we're going to hit the download button here and install it on the computer. So let's go ahead and click the download button. And now we can click on the executable file. Say yes to the user account control. And this will go ahead and start to install the software on the system. You'll see a little select your language. So I'm going to go ahead and select English, accept their terms, conditions, and we can then click on next. So let's go ahead and do that. You will see, take care, please do not install this application to the partition where you want to recover files. Otherwise, the files will be destroyed and cannot be recovered forever. So basically, you want to install this on the drive that you're cloning. And we're going to go ahead and do that, which is my C drive. And that's the drive we're going to be cloning. So let's go ahead and clone this drive by launching our Disk Genius. Now, you can open the website and take a look there, but I'm just going to take that check mark out and click Finish. That's now done. Disk Genius will open. You will see the two drives that I have here. I have a 64 gigabyte drive and a 120 gigabyte drive. They are on a VMware workstation. So basically I'm using a virtual machine to show you and replicate how we can clone this, but you would be cloning this from one drive to another. And it's just replicating that same process. You've got loads of other features inside here that you can use, but what we're interested in is the cloning method and we're going to be using the OS migration tool, which is here. So when we click on the OS migration tool, you will see this is the drive we're cloning and this is the drive we're cloning to. So we're going from a 64 gig to 120 gig. And it doesn't matter what size it is and it doesn't matter whether this is a virtual machine or whether this is real drives. It will show you exactly what you need to do. So first off, let's click on the OS migration and we now need to select the target disk. This is the disk where the clone is going to go to, which is our 120 gigabyte drive. Yours might be a two terabyte, one terabyte. It doesn't really matter. So select the drive, which is going to be your target drive. Click OK. And once we've done this, we can now see the window popping up here. So the top one is our source drive, which is our drive we want to clone. And the bottom one is our target drive. That is our 64 gig up the top. And the bottom one is our 120 gig. Now you see it's only going to be cloning this small amount, but we can extend this to use the whole drive uh, rather than just using the small amount by just using the slider here. Now that's done. You can see here we can also put a check mark in the bottom here where it says when finished change the computer boot sequence so if you want to uh, change the boot sequence you can do 
And you can see here, prevent the system from falling asleep during execution. We'll leave that check mark there as well. But we don't want to uh, obviously check mark this one here because obviously this is to uh, change the boot order uh, to boot to our new drive. I can do that manually afterwards. And, this, and especially if you are using one of those adapters, you don't want to be doing that because obviously you want to take the drive out of that and put it into the computer after you've cloned it. So let's go ahead and click start. And you can see here warning all files and partitions on the target drive will be overwritten. So we're going to click OK here. You will see this disk genius window popping up here, giving us the option to use hot migration or reboot to WinPE. I'm going to be using the hot migration uh, tool here to basically migrate our operating system. So let's click on this and it should now start the process. So what it's going to do is basically clone from our 64 gig drive here to our new 120 gig drive. And that's basically what it's going to do here. It will take some time, so be patient. Go and make yourself a cup of tea and come back and it should be finished. And hopefully once it's done, you'll be able to remove that drive from its uh, external enclosure and put it into your computer and upgrade it. Or if you've got them already plugged into the computer, you would just obviously swap them around and make that your main uh, bootable drive. You can see here system migration has been completed. And to boot from that drive, we can click yes here and it will reboot the system and boot to that drive. I don't want to do that because if you're using an external enclosure, you don't want to boot to that drive. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, causing yourself a problem. So I'm going to choose shutdown instead and push complete. And we can now see that we do have an exact clone of our 64 gig drive to our 120 gig drive. Now, remember what I said before, this can be any size of drive. As long as the drive is bigger than the drive that you're using previously, for instance, there's enough space on that drive to clone the information to, then you should be good to go. Okay, so let's close the software down and shut the PC down. And what you would do here is then change the drive over to the new drive that you've just cloned, and then you can boot to that drive. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and replicate that situation where we can boot to our new clone drive to show you that it does work. I've now booted up the computer on the new drive. We can go to disk management here, and you will now see that disk zero is our drive E and our disk one is our drive C. That means I'm now booting to our new 120 gig drive here that I've just created because that is drive C. So that just shows you that we are using our brand new drive to boot up to. So it works perfectly fine and everything should be exactly identical to the drive that you've just cloned. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.